Hello. It's a year later. <laughs> so today is January 18th, 2021. And January 18th, 2020 um, changed my life forever. I can't believe I have a one-year-old. Does that mean he's a toddler now? Here are 12 things that I learned in the first 12 months. Hello, January. You were earth shattering and groundbreaking for me. This actual day last year, I remember specifically a few things. In the morning, I started my contractions and I was like, I'm gonna meet my son, but oh my gosh, I have to get through labor and delivery first. Sometimes still in shock, but most of the time just in awe of how amazing my body is. I learned to love in a way that I never knew I could love. Never. People tell you. Hi. People try to explain it to you, but you don't know love until you have a child of your own like that. February. I learned that my body can survive on a lot less sleep than I ever knew. I was the chick that went to bed early, slept in late, and would occasionally take a nap. Well, <laughs> and then March hit us. And when I say us, I mean all of us. So no matter what's going on, I learned that you just keep moving forward and you persevere. April! Well, what I learned in April was teamwork makes a dream work. Thank God for my amazing husband. Thank God for my amazing mother because we made it work in Nebraska, in the house that I actually grew up in. May. Boobs, they're amazing, period. June. Make sure you reach out to other mothers because we mamas, we've got to have each other's backs. And I now have a whole mommy community that I am so grateful for. July. I learned that my body can do amazing, strong things like create a child. I don't need to achieve a postpartum goal weight. That's some BS. August. Home is wherever I'm home with you. <laughs> September. I do love a good Broadway moment. September. <laughs> you should never feel guilty for working for your child make them proud. And I also learned that you should be showing them a true role model and what a true role model is. My birthday month, October. Time flies. Make sure that you appreciate all of the little memories, like going hiking and having birds eat out of your hand and little road trips, all the giggles and the smiles and the massive poopies. November. I wanna fight for a better future for you and for all the other children out there. It's important that we all stand up for what we believe in today. December. It's so beautiful to watch the world through your eyes, to see all your firsts and to be so blessed. You amaze me every single day. Happy birthday, Isaac. I love you so much. I cannot believe how fast this year went. Watching everything, how you turned on your own and crawled on your own and started talking and walking on your own and how we play with the ball, kicking and throwing and how your daddy loves you so much and how much I can see that you love him back. It's just this beautiful bond. And I'm so excited to celebrate your birthday with you today. I love you to pieces, my little baby boy. Mwah. And hello to you new mommies, you expecting mommies, you I just got through my first year mommies. I see you. Man, we are in this together. And <sighs> the challenges may come and go, but the blessings are just so much bigger than the little things that happen every single day. So hang in there. Remember, we've all got each other's back. And um, remember how blessed you are to have such a beautiful baby in your hands. Okay, a little bit of unsolicited advice also. Mama knows best. And you heard it first. And you can use that line too whenever you get unsolicited advice from a stranger or a family member or someone that is a neighbor that you don't even like. 